The 3M Sterivac Sterilizer Aerator GS Series was developed with the safety of operators and patients in mind. The 3M Sterivac Sterilizer Aerator GS Series models GS5 and GS8 are intended to replace the 3M Sterivac Gas Sterilizer models 5XL and 8XL. The GS Series Sterilizer was designed with state-of-the-art mechanical and safety features. Those features include an automatic error and fault recovery, control and monitoring sensors for pressure, percent relative humidity, and temperature parameters, a dynamic humidification process with measurement and feedback control, and a three-zone temperature control to improve temperature uniformity. This low temperature sterilizer is used to sterilize heat and moisture sensitive devices and utilizes 100% ethylene oxide as the sterilant. The sterilant is delivered via single dose cartridges. Additional new features include a two dimensional barcode scanner, an easy to read real time touch screen display, the ability to print, store, and export cycle reports, and Ethernet connectivity. The main components of the GS series sterilizer include a handle-free chamber door, the 3M Sterigas EO gas cartridge housing, percent RH and gas injection ports, internal temperature monitoring sensors, and the percent RH monitoring ports. A panel door provides access to two USB ports, a barcode scanner, and a printer. The water reservoir provides dynamic humidification during the sterilization process and is located below the panel door. The on-off button should always stay on. Connections on the GS series sterilizer include a power connection with a supplied power cord, an Ethernet connection that can be used by 3M healthcare service personnel or authorized 3M service personnel to access diagnostic information, and a Bator connection. This is used to connect an emission control device if needed for your facility's requirements. The sterilizer also has a compressed air line connection for the required compressed air supply, a vent line connection for the ethylene oxide vent line, and a vent hood connection that draws air out of the chamber and away from the operator removing the load. Be sure to follow all recommendations for types of packaging and materials that are safe for use within the GS series sterilizer. These recommendations can be found in the 3M Sterivac Sterilizer Aerator GS series operator manual. For healthcare applications, clean, dry and package all devices per their respective manufacturer's instructions for use prior to loading the packages into the sterilizer basket. Do not sterilize any devices with energy sources such as batteries that could create a spark inside the sterilization chamber during a sterilization cycle. There is a wide range of packaging available for use with this GS series sterilizer. For example, rigid containers, plastic trays wrapped in disposable wrap, pouches that are breathable on one side and plastic on the other side, and muslin. For healthcare applications, place a minimum of one ethylene oxide chemical indicator inside each container, wrap tray, or pouch. Reference the packaging manufacturer's instructions for use for complete instructions for proper chemical indicator placement. When using sterilization pouches, make sure the 3M Comply chemical indicator strip for EO is visible from outside the pouch. Seal sterilization pouches using a heat sealer set to the appropriate time and temperature. Secure wrap trays with 3M Comply indicator tape for ethylene oxide. For rigid containers, ensure that the external EO process indicator is somewhere on the outside of the container. Be sure to attach a 3M Comply load label per your facility's policies to each package prior to loading the packages into the sterilizer basket. Always use loading baskets with the sterilizer. Do not overload the sterilizer loading baskets. Be sure to arrange the packages within the loading baskets in such a way as to ensure that water vapor, 
and ethylene oxide can circulate evenly between the packages. Place pouches on their edges if possible and arrange the pouches so that their plastic sides are all facing the same direction or that their breathable sides are all facing the same direction. Last, ensure that none of the packages will touch the sterilizer walls once the sterilizer baskets are placed within the chamber. Use a 3M A-Test Rapid Readout BI Test Pack 1298, also known as a challenge pack, to monitor every load. Place a minimum of one 1298 test pack in the center of each load. Please note that the entire sterilization process occurs below atmospheric pressure in a vacuum within the GS series sterilizer. Before starting a cycle, check the water level in the water reservoir. If the water level is low, add deionized water only. The GS series sterilizer will alert you if there is not enough water in the reservoir to run a complete cycle. Also, be sure you have adequate paper for printing a cycle report. You can safely use a stylus or your fingertip on the GS series sterilizer touchscreen display. The display shows the current date, time, temperature, and chamber pressure. You will be able to observe the temperature and pressure values changing during the sterilization process. The percent RH, green EO indicator icon, and the maintenance required wrench icon will display in the same line as temperature and pressure when applicable. There are seven steps to starting a cycle. Step 1. Select the appropriate cycle temperature from the sterilizer touchscreen. You have a choice of either 38 degrees Celsius or 55 degrees Celsius. Refer to the device manufacturer's IFU to determine which cycle temperature to use. Step 2. Select the appropriate aeration time from the sterilizer touchscreen. Aeration removes ethylene oxide residuals from the product load and the devices. Determine the aeration time by referring to the device manufacturer's IFU. Step 3 is an optional step to create a load ID. When you touch the load ID field on the touchscreen, an alphanumeric pad appears on the screen to enable you to enter a load ID. When handling full ethylene oxide gas cartridges, always wear personal protective equipment, including butyl rubber gloves safety glasses, and garments with long sleeves. Access a 3M Sterigas EO gas cartridge from the designated location per your facility's policies. Remove protective yellow cap from the cartridge and proceed to Step 4. Step 4. Scan the 3M Sterigas EO gas cartridge barcode to ensure you are using a 3M Sterigas EO gas cartridge the correct cartridge for the GS series sterilizer model, and a cartridge that is not expired or that has not previously been used. 
Only use 3M Stereogas EO gas cartridges as other ethylene oxide cartridges have not been validated for safety and performance in the GS series sterilizer. Place the cartridge barcode into the barcode scanner on the sterilizer. If the cartridge information is valid, the sterilizer will accept the barcode, record the lot number, and print the lot number as part of the cycle report. If the cartridge barcode is not valid, the screen will display a cannot read barcode message. At this point, the touch screen will allow you to select either do not scan or rescan the current cartridge. If you select do not scan, only five scanning overrides will be allowed. After five instances, you will need to call service to clear the scanning overrides. Step five. Place the 3M Sterigas EO gas cartridge into the cartridge holder with the arrow pointing downward. Snap the cartridge locking mechanism onto the cartridge to secure it into place. Next, insert the load into the sterilizer chamber. If the load is heavy, be sure to use a cart to help place the load into the sterilizer chamber. Lastly, gently push the door closed until the door seals to the chamber. The touchscreen will display an image of the sterilizer with the door closed. Step 6 is an optional step where you can create an operator ID. Touch the screen in the operator ID field and an alphanumeric pad will appear. Enter an operator ID. Step 7. Review the program sterilization cycle. The options shown on the display screen are back, cancel the cycle, or start the cycle. The screen also displays a green cartridge icon indicating that a full cartridge was placed into the sterilizer cartridge holder. Select Start to begin the cycle. The screen will display the progression of the sterilization cycle beginning with the preheat stage. The screen also displays the cycle name, current cycle stage, cycle count, and total estimated remaining cycle time. The bottom of the screen contains the cycle stage icons for the sterilization process. A white box around a stage icon indicates the current stage. There's also a screen option to display a real-time cycle chart of temperature, pressure, and relative humidity during the sterilization process. When programmed aeration is complete, the cycle complete message will display on the sterilizer touchscreen. Select the open door button. The chamber door will open after the sterilizer chamber reaches room pressure. Once the door opens and the cycle is complete, press the red stop button. Pressing the red stop button signals the sterilizer to print a cycle report and return to the main screen. Before you remove the load from the chamber, verify the following items on the cycle report. In the cycle report header, verify that the start time, date, operator ID and cycle name are correct. If you created a load ID, verify that the load ID matches your records. In the cycle report footer, verify the final status indicates cycle complete. Verify there are no errors or cautions. Verify the percent RH and temperature at the end of conditioning meet the specifications in the operator manual and verify that the actual ethylene oxide exposure time and actual aeration time are correct per the manufacturer's instructions for use. The GS series sterilizer touchscreen displays messages whenever a caution or an error occurs within a sterilization cycle. Cautions and errors appear above the image of the sterilizer on the display screen as a red outline box that includes a yellow triangle and exclamation mark followed by a description of the caution or error. There is a toggle button within the red outline box that can be pressed to view additional information about the caution or error. A caution message indicates that an abnormal event has occurred. However, the sterilization cycle will continue. All critical parameters are still within acceptable levels when a caution message displays on the screen. An error message indicates a sterilization cycle failure has occurred. The sterilizer automatically proceeds to an error recovery state and will return the chamber to a safe state. The sterilizer may require either service or a supervisor pin to access the chamber after the error recovery process is complete.
Refer to the operator manual for more information regarding caution or error messages. Remove the load from the sterilizer by sliding the sterilizer loading baskets out of the chamber. Verify that the ethylene oxide chemical indicators and or indicator tape have changed to the correct color. Ensure any chemical indicators on the biological indicator and or challenge pack have changed to the correct color. Remove the biological indicator from the challenge pack. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for use to incubate and read the BI. The empty 3M Sterigas EO gas cartridge should be aerated for a minimum of two hours before disposing of the cartridge. This can be completed as part of the normal aeration cycle. After aeration is complete, remove the cartridge from the cartridge holder and dispose of the cartridge in a non-incinerated waste receptacle or recycle the cartridge per your facility's recycling procedures. This concludes the 3M Sterivac Sterilizer Aerator GS Series in-service training. Please refer to the 3M Sterivac GS Series Operator Manual for complete details.